The head of the People's Republic in Donetsk in Ukraine has been killed in an explosion at a restaurant with the incident now being investigated as a terror attack. RT's Roman Kosarov has details. We have to know that the uh, restaurant itself is located right in the center of the city, of just a few hundred meters away from the residence of Alexander Zaharchenko. And this is a place where a lot of people uh, go with their children. There's a park. There are many restaurants. In fact, I was there myself just a couple of days ago having lunch in one of those restaurants. So it's a very highly populated uh, area. Now, an advisor to Alexander Zaharchenko said that the bomb was deliberately planted inside the restaurant. Uh, now, the city of Donetsk and uh, the, the so-called Donetsk People's Republic have declared a state of emergency and uh, the entire territory of the Republic is now on lockdown. People cannot uh, leave and uh, people cannot come into the Donetsk People's Republic as uh, the authorities are looking uh, for people who have executed this terrorist act. And this is exactly how they're looking at it right now as a terrorist uh, act. Now, the uh, local authorities accused the government in Kiev of uh, committing this uh, act and the government in Kiev says that they already issued a statement that they have not been involved in this incident. The incidents now, uh, Moscow's uh, foreign ministry has also uh, said that this was a terrorist act and should be investigated as such. Uh, Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin called it a despicable murder and uh, that uh, those who chose a path of terror and violence are not looking for a peaceful solution in the southeast of uh, the country and instead they bank on destabilizing the situation and he added that uh, he expects all the responsible parties in this case uh, to be uh, brought to justice. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the authorities in the next People's Republic uh, have announced a three-day uh, mourning period uh, associated with the death of uh, their head, Alexander Zaharchenko.